Okay, folks, look, we back at it again. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and add this recipe to my budget-friendly meals, right? Now, this right here, stuffed potatoes, you know what I mean? We're gonna do the chicken. And one of, one of the things I'm gonna tell you about is, listen, you can season this and use whatever you want to. A lot of people go ahead and use them, uh, what is that, that, that ranch, you know, uh, pack. You, whatever flavor you wanna put on there, you can do that, right? But it is, this requires a little bit of thought. So, with that being said, let's get started. Now, if you pay attention, there's really not no whole lot of ingredients, right? So, what first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my chicken. I got two chicken breasts. We just go ahead and add that, you know, on the inside. Got these, I'm gonna turn them over. This is their photogenic side right here. You know how they look on the bottom side. When you put them like that, they look great. Let me clean my hands and let me put the rest in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give me a knife. Usually when you buy these blocks of uh, cream cheese, they come eight ounces, right? So I like to just put about half, right? So I bring it like this. We saved the other half. You know, just take it, drop that in, just like that. We gonna season, we gonna put some seasoning in here with it. I want you guys to pay attention right here. This is called garlic butter. Listen, this seasoning right here, this, you can use Creole Kick, you can use any of my seasonings, you can use any of your favorite seasoning, and like I said, you can use a ranch pack. You know what I mean? All of that comes into play for your taste and what kind of potato that you wanna get. For me, I'm gonna go with the garlic butter. We put in about a tablespoon, right? We want it to be flavorful. All right, so now we're just gonna turn this on, right? Let me come around this way so you guys can see. I told you we're gonna do two and a half hours, right? So we hit power, so we wanna go to two and a half hours, like that, and then we wanna hit high. That's it. What you're seeing me hit, put right here, listen, I know I got everything. I'm just giving you guys and enlightening you, right? This is the Branch and Vine product, look. This right here, it's a premium sea salt and it's bacon flavor. Listen, no meat, no nothing. And actually this is a vegan product. Anytime I can use salt, you know what I mean? You guys see me cook a lot with the kosher, but when I'm looking for that unique flavor and this right here, it's got this, that, that, that smoky bacon smell to it. And we are gonna put that on the outside, you know what? And I'm gonna eat that skin. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna be, look, look, it's almost like a branch and vine, you know, uh, uh, commercial, huh, infomercial. But listen, that's just in, uh, garlic infused. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some of this over here like this. And then I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna go ahead and work with it. All right, let me move this over. This is gonna help it like get a little bit crispy on the outside. I'm gonna take this hand and this is gonna be the one that I put this all over everywhere, right? You wanna take a fork and you wanna poke holes in it, like you see right here, right? This what it does is when it's in there and it starts to heat up in the inside, it lets some of that steam out, you know? And then I take it, now pay attention right here if you guys never done them this way, you're gonna love this. At the end, when I open this up, you're gonna say, oh, AB, you just exposed the game. I should go ahead and say the secret to making the best, you know, uh, baked potato. But what I'm doing is, it's almost gonna be like an eye. I made it with the holes. I went down this way, right? This is all gonna become key at the end. I bring it over here and then we wanna put that little line, almost like we making it to a T on this side. You'll see, it'll all make sense to you. But do this, folks. All right, so now that all of these are doing, look, I just wanna go ahead and take some of this, this bacon sea salt, and I just put it over here just like this. I put it all over, right? All right, so after you see me go ahead and hit it with the fork and do all of that, it's ready. That's gonna be real key. Don't skip forward or nothing like that. I'm gonna do a cut. Now, I'm putting these in. That one right there is kind of big. But if you ask me, it's the perfect big, you know, big size, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a timer. I'm gonna put these in at 350 degrees and we probably gonna go about an hour and 20 minutes. So check it out, folks. If you want to know why I'm chewing, listen, this is not no restaurant. You know what I mean? Uh, it's chef choice. You know what? I got bacon. You see some pieces is missing already, right? So I want you guys to come on here and take a look down at the inside of that right there. Remember, we just put, hit it with the seasoning. We put the uh, cream cheese in there. Now I'm going to take it and just, you know, just, let's just check it. I can just see that it's ready to be. Look at this right here. We just want to shred this up, right? Now, when I shred this, I'm gonna put about a cup of that cheddar, right? That shredded cheddar, look. We start adding a little bit of cheese in there. I want you guys to notice, like when I did, you know, shred it myself, what I did was I went with the small size of the shred, easier to melt that way, folks.
you guys saw me, you know, doing a little, I gave you a little, a little look at, you know, me making the bacon. I'm gonna add these bacon bits in here like this. This is just adding more and more flavor. You know what I mean? Then you just wanna, oh my goodness. Look at how creamy that is. So I got it. When I say creamy, this is what I'm talking about, folks. Don't overdo it with the cheese, please. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can put too much cheese in something and it just chases each other, you know, chases it around and it's just too cheesy. But this mixture right here is just right on point. Now, I'm gonna build everything right here on my board, right? So we'll put that right there. Now this is gonna be super easy to do because remember we perforated this this way to let steam out, but we made it on each side. We went this way and then we went down the middle. Now you about to know why I did that. Let me show you why I did that. If you just take your hands, and the reason I'm doing this is because I haven't let it cool. You know what I mean? So I take my fingers like this, just put them behind a little protection, you know what I mean? And then I push it like that. And you see how I just open up, give it a little push there. But you see how that goes like that? That's why I did that. It just opens up real nice, nice and easy. You can see the heat. You see when you do it right in the oven, look, I don't have to fight it. You see how easy it is for me to just you know, move it around, stir it up, get everything mixed with the butter. I'm gonna take a little bit of that cheese that was left over. We're just gonna give it a little, you know, just like that. And I'm gonna work this in too. Don't forget, this is our dinner, folks. We want it to be great. We want it to taste good. You know what I mean? And uh, look at that right there. I even can feel it all the way down on the bottom. And it just comes out right. You guys gotta make sure that when you put them in the microwave or if you do them in the oven like me, you give it enough time, right? This was an hour and 20 minutes. Now look, I'm gonna go ahead and just get a little bit. We don't wanna just make a topping, right? I'm gonna put it on like that, right? So I'll put this back in there and I'll use this one. And what I'm gonna do is now, I'm just gonna kinda like mix this in the inside. You know what I mean? Cause we wanna have it, when we go ahead and dig in this, we don't wanna just pull everything off the top, all right? These are things to just think about folks. You know what I mean? And uh, this baked potato right here, all of this is about to be eaten. Right, so we got it full of, you know, chicken, right, bacon. Now we finna hit the top. Look at that right there. So now I take my cheese. Now don't forget, you guys, you guys, you don't have to follow my way. You do it the way you wanna do it. But I wanna know, you gotta talk to me down in the comment section below and let me know exactly what you guys do, right? I'm trying not to overdo it, you know what I mean? Cause we gotta turn it into, you know, take a picture with it or whatever. Now, if you guys pay attention, I had like a little small, a couple of slices of uh, bacon right there, right? That's cause I was gonna put some topping on here, but after tasting this, this right here is fire, folks. You know what I mean? So I'll just go ahead and mix this up. Add that. Now we gonna come with the chive. This is what I like about this right here. Cause look, that little splash of green. And for those of you guys that like do the chives, you know that they do have a taste to them. And I kind of like them, folks. All right, so look, now it's just time to dig in. I got to tell you this, though. Listen, I preach this all the time. Like when it comes to cooking, you got to taste your food in stages. I knew it was going to be great after I shredded everything and tasted it with just the, the seasoning, the cream cheese, you know what I mean, the chicken breast. And then, you know, once I shredded and it was all worked together, I knew it was gonna be great. Oh, and don't forget the seasoning. I'm using the seasoning, the seasoning that I like. Uh, I know a lot of you guys do because I watch the repeat buy. You know, and again, I just wanna say thank you for everything. Uh, but if you go to my website, which again is www.smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's withab.com, W-I-T-A-B, right? I'm gonna give you guys an alternative. If you don't have my seasoning, this will hold you over until you get it. You know what? So I'm gonna dig in like that. Bacon was a nice touch. Check it out, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this this way so y'all can see. I wasn't joking with you. Now, when I say I believe that's a meal, that's what I believe. So that's why I'm putting it under the budget friendly. And then don't forget, we all have potatoes. When we go to the store, we always buy that bag. I like to buy my potatoes separate, you know what I mean? Because I like to pick them out and get the right side, you know what I mean? So this right here, that'll do it. If I was gonna do anything else, I could have like air fried some, uh, some shrimp. Shrimp is still cheap, especially when you go down south. We pay a lot of money to get it out here in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? But uh, listen, 
I'm not finna over talk it, but please take the time, drop a comment, let me know what you would do to make this a little bit more leveled up than what it is. And with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Now, I'm finna go right in there and get my Kool-Aid, and I'm finna sit down and knock the rest of this off and eat this bowl. I'm out. Peace.